Uh, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's uh, he still uh, got that kind of uh, enjoyment uh, and, and freshness for the game that um, like he's got that enthusiasm, I guess. That sometimes you only see with with, with really really young guys, where it's just every day it's like it's his first time out there. He just wants to do everything. He wants to catch every ball, block every, you know, make every block. Um, but at the same time, he's matured so much, um, uh, and just the, the way he's taken on a leadership role, not only in the tight end room with Marlon and Colston, but um, also amongst the whole team. It's been uh, it's been awesome to see. Jim has said that, that he and Luke could, you know, they'll be fighting each other for the top tight end in the country. How do you see that? I see it the exact same way. I, I think they have every uh, every ability and every license to, to go make it one and two, and that's obviously that's uh, you know, outside of our team goals and our, our offensive goals. Uh, you know, that's definitely our goals as a unit is that those two are you know, battling it out, you know, to, to be the Mackey Award winner. Isaiah? Eric keeps on putting weight on and he's put in another 10 or so pounds this off season. Uh, how do you think that that'll help him going forward here? So even, and will he still be able to retain his athleticism as far as being able to move? Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he's still playing athletic. Uh, he's still moving really, really well. Um, so I think it's only going to help him. Uh, just some of the inline blocking and trying a little bit more weight. But I mean, he uh, it's crazy because he just looks bigger. He's still really, really cut. You, you wouldn't know that he had put on weight um, you know, without, without looking on the scale, and he told me how much he was weighing the other day, and I, I couldn't believe it. I made him go on the scale to, to, to verify it. But no, he looks great. He, he looks, you know, Coach Herb and his staff have done an amazing job, you know, just developing all those guys, but uh, especially Eric. You know, he just he, he looks great as, you know, as does Scooney. You've been around him this entire time, so what? How much different does he play? How much different does he look in that regard from when he first arrived? To, to now. Yeah, I mean, he, he got here, he was probably 220 pounds, so to now be 252, 50, 257, whatever he is right now, um, and still be fast, still have all that athleticism. He's probably even gotten faster than he, than he was when he got here. Um, you know, again, it's just a, it's a credit to, to Coach Herb and his staff and, and the work that they've done and the work that Abigail uh, O'Connor has done to um, just to you know, continue to develop him from um, not only an athletic perspective, but be able to put that weight on and, and still maintain all that athleticism. Michael? Uh, two questions, but one of those really quick. Who's faster between the two of them? That's tough. Um, I'd say Eric's probably quicker. Scooney might be a little faster in the top end, but it's. I mean, it, I, I'm I'm curious to know. I'm, I'll be curious at the combine and see what they both run. I bet it'll be very close. And then my second question is: Last year, outside of Hassan and Cornelius, nobody played more snaps than them at the skill positions and the two tight ends. Um, part of that, I'm guessing, probably had to do with Ronnie's injury a little bit. That might have changed the rep count a little, but. Is that something that you would expect to continue this year with them playing a significant number of snaps relative to the other skill players or with so many receivers and backs, does it kind of have to fluctuate more this year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend how, obviously, you know, game to game, how the, how the flow of the game's going, kind of who's hot. Um, uh, but, you know, it's, it's a good problem to have, right? And we feel like we're, you know, we're not just too deep, but we're, we're really deep at the tight end position. You know, I feel like we got, you know, five or six guys right now who could go in and win us a game at the tight end position and then receiver, obviously, you know, we've, we've got the same. Um, and then obviously the backs, you know, are, are, are great in themselves. So it's a good problem to have. But you no, know, I think that, that those two have, have demonstrated that they deserve to be on the field. And I think that you know that's not gonna we're not gonna depart from that. That's still gonna be our identity. Um, you know, being able to be physical and you know, have tight ends who can be involved in the pass game and the run game. Ed, Frank, you talk about your ascension within this program and, and how much you're enjoying embracing this new opportunity this year? Yeah, I mean, I love it. This is, this is my home. So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm very, very blessed, very grateful to Coach Harbaugh and the whole staff to, to still be here and obviously be here in an elevated role. So, uh, I just, I just, you know, enjoying every second of it and, uh, you know, trying to make the most of it. What are you the best about it? Just interacting with the guys. I and mean, as you know, as you guys know, you know we're, we're very, very blessed here to have uh, amazing young men. Um, so it just makes it easy to come into work every day, you know, to have, have them and, um, you know, their passion for the game, uh, you know, the type of people they are, and then uh, you know, be able to work you know, with, with the best staff in America, the best head coach in America. It makes it really, really easy to come in and uh, enjoy what you're doing. Ryan, how much of, of an adjustment has it been recruiting as, as a position coach? It's definitely been some, somewhat of an adjustment. Um, it, it's, it's different you know, when you go from kind of being that support role to now you're the, the lead on guys. Um, and then also also having the area, but um, it, it's it's been good. It's it's obviously it's time intensive, but you know, I, I love it. It's just another thing to kind of compete in. And um, at the end of the day, it's just about you know being a genuine human being, uh, being a genuine human being, and, and being able to have relationships.